is going on YouTube? Anthony Sequera here and great to see everyone back for our series on the blue screen of death. And I promised at the end of the last episode that we would talk about tracking down the steps to fix and really diagnose what the heck is going on and why we're getting the blue screen of death. And we're going to cover that but before we do, I wanted to just give you the official word from Microsoft on what causes these things. You ready? Microsoft tells us that when it comes to the blue screen of death, the overwhelming majority of them, that's right, 70% of them are the result of third-party driver code. Now, I've got to tell you, I really do agree with this statement. And I'm as skeptical as anyone you'll meet, but I really do agree with this. In my own experience, decades worth of dealing with all these different Windows versions, I've got to say that, yeah, it's almost always third-party drivers that are causing our issues. Notice 10% of the time it's hardware issues. So if Microsoft tells you to start by scanning your memory or scanning your hard disk, so often, 9 out of 10 times, everything's fine there. The Microsoft code itself, 5% of the time, could be the issue. And the one good thing about this, other than how rare it is, is the fact that if the Microsoft code is the issue, the patch or the hotfix or the update that you're going to get from Microsoft is typically going to take care of the problem. So that's kind of nice. The other thing, though, on that one that I need to explain is the 15% unknown. What is this? Sounds like something out of the old X-Files. That 15% is just the machine taking a dump so badly, and that was an intentional pun, that the machine is just so sickly that Microsoft can't even make heads or tails out of the dumped information that they have been given by the system. So that's kind of scary and a good thing that that's that rare. But the main point, as I promised you, regarding the searching, the diagnosing what went wrong and how to fix it, is going to be, like we, dis like we stressed in the previous episode, it's going to be getting that file name, if we can, and getting that stop code. So just an example here of the nvldmkm.sys file seems to be the culprit, and we have a stop code, and we search on this information. Now, oftentimes you're going to get results from Microsoft themselves about that stop code in that file. And you're also going to get it from the specific vendor, right? If we're dealing with like some Linksys file or some uh, uh, Logitech file or some NVIDIA or AMD driver, we're going to get results that are official from that vendor. When that happens to you, I would go on the side of the vendor. So oftentimes, because it's a problem with their driver, they're the ones that know best how to fix it. In fact, many oftentimes they'll patch you or give you a new driver that you need to install. So when in doubt, I start with the vendor documentation on this problem first, then I go over to the Microsoft side. Also something to consider is forums. A lot of times we're, we don't get any official word from the vendor or from Microsoft. So it is worth your time oftentimes to go in and look at the forums and what you'll typically run into is someone that's come up with a workaround for you. So they're like, yup, Logitech messed this one up. We're all still waiting for drivers. In the meantime, this is what you can do. I do want to emphasize something, kind of the dark side of all of this. And there has been times, in fact, you YouTube subscribers to my channel have chatted in with me. And of course, I've chatted back with you regarding situations where you're getting blue screens where there is no fix. I mean, the fix is to unplug that device, uninstall those drivers, and to bring that device back to where you got it for a full refund because it's not truly currently supported for Windows 10. Very rare that this happens, but I have seen it. And some of you have reported this to me in the comments to these videos here on YouTube. So, yikes, that's a scary thought, but it does happen. Thankfully, it is rare. 
Well, what I'd like to do now with the remaining time in this episode is I'd like to jump in to a Windows 10 system here and just kind of point out to you what Microsoft tends to have us do all the time. And that is their troubleshooting steps will be like, go into settings and make sure you're completely up to date with all the updates and go into your Windows security and do a security scan because you wanna make sure that it's not some virus that's causing your blue screen. Those aren't always that effective for me, right? Uh, I mean, I'll sometimes use them as an excuse just to do it, but what really tends to be the powerful fixes is the recovery area and restarting your Windows 10 system with the advanced startup options. Look at this. Now we're playing with the kind of power that can really get things fixed. If you go to the troubleshoot uh, section here and you go to advanced options, you'll notice you can boot in safe mode under startup options. You can do a startup repair. You can go to a command prompt for advanced troubleshooting from there. These are the kinds of troubleshooting tools that will very often get you out of trouble. And again, that's restarting using those advanced startup options. Checking the memory, checking the disk. Microsoft will have us walking through that oftentimes. But again, our success percentage with those general things don't tend to be as high. No surprise, they don't tend to focus on drivers. One of the things that we love the safe boot up for of a Windows 10 system is to boot that system without all those fancy drivers installed. And then if the blue screen is gone, we know it's one of the fancy drivers that's causing the problem. Well, this doesn't have to be the last video on blue screens of death here at the Anthony Sequera YouTube channel. So if you want me to shoot additional videos on additional topics on this very deep and dense and dark topic of the blue screen of death, just let me know in the comments. So I can certainly do specific ones that you're having trouble with. I can, you know, talk about this unfortunate topic for a long, long time. So let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see in this series. I apologize for this series taking so long to produce. I've been awfully busy over at IT Pro TV creating great training courses with my dear friend, Ronnie Wong. Well, until next time, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing your comments.